Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Blender. Um, this tutorial is going to give you a real quick overview of uh, Blender and after watching this you should be able to uh, get into it pretty quickly. Um, this video will just show you some basic uh, some basic things to kind of to get you going. So we're using uh, Blender 2.5 uh, which is the newest version. Uh, this will also work with older versions if you uh, feel more comfortable using an older uh, stable version of Blender. Um, and any of those can be downloaded at blender.org. Uh, so when we first start here, uh, by default we have a cube. Um, so just to go over some real basic things, in the top left here will be uh, what view you're currently looking at. This is right ortho. Um, so ortho means uh, it, it's kind of a 2D representation of a 3D uh, of a 3D object, as opposed to perspective, which is actually uh, you could think of perspective as uh, having a vanishing point. If you've ever dealt with uh, 3D art, um, where orthographic is more uh, of just face on, uh, two dimensional, uh, two dimensional deal there. So. Uh, a few important uh, shortcuts that you're going to need to learn right off the bat is uh, on the number pad if you hit 1, 3, or 7 uh, on your number pad now, not on your keyboard uh, or not next to your letters on your keyboard, uh, 1 will be front uh, you can see up here it's changing front ortho uh, 3 is right, uh, 7 is top and then 5 toggles between your orth ortho and perspective so um, just to give you an example of perspective, I'm using my middle mouse button here to uh, to kind of move around in 3D space, and this is perspective. And if I hit five again, there's ortho. You can see everything kind of uh, everything is parallel. There's nothing uh, there's nothing perspective about this. There's no vanishing point. It's just kind of a 2D representation of a 3D object, and that's going to be really useful later on when you're uh, uh, You'll kind of learn why that's useful as you go, but, but just know that's uh, the number five toggles you between uh, ortho and perspective, and that is on your number pad, not the uh, not the keys above your letters there. Okay, so uh, let's go back to uh, front front view there, and we'll go in ortho. Um, your middle mouse button on your mouse, if you hold the scroll uh, scroll button down, you can move around. Uh, any direction you like. If you scroll the wheel up and down, you could zoom in and out. Um, if you select your object, you can use this red arrow or this blue arrow to move it in whichever direction you like, uh, and it'll constrain it to that uh, that axis. So the blue would be the z-axis, the red would be the x-axis, um, and we can also go down here. These uh, buttons here, there'll be a um, an arrow for translate manipulator mode. That's just what we just did: is move it. Um, there is a rotate manipulator mode, so if you click that, you'll see the arrows change to kind of this uh, this round sphere that you can drag these uh, uh, lines around and it will rotate. And there's also one more button, which is the scale manipulator mode. And once again, our arrows have changed to, uh, to little boxes and we could scale our object in and out um, in any axis we like. And we can go back to a front view there and it, uh, hitting tab is another important one. A tab toggles you between object mode and edit mode. If you look down here which it will correspond to, right now it says object mode. If we tab it will be edit mode and once we're in edit mode we can go and select each uh, vertice or a group of vertices and do the exact same thing whether it's scale, resize, uh, move so we can move this vertice around and now we have kind of a silly looking object there. Um, so those are some real basic uh, uh, commands for Blender. Um, another shortcut to these buttons down here is the G, uh, the G key for move, the R key for rotate which we'll select two to kind of see that, and also the uh, uh, what do we have left there? Oh the S key for scale so we can just hit the S key and once we find somewhere we like, we hit the left mouse button. If we decide we don't like it, we can just hit the right mouse button and it'll kind of undo what we were doing. And if we hit the uh, G, uh, the G key, the R key, or the S key, and then a axis, uh, 
with the Z, Y, or X key, if we hit G to move, but then we hit X without clicking the mouse again, just hit X, now we're constrained to only that axis. And if we like somewhere where it, if we uh, decide we want to keep it here, we just hit the left mouse button, and it's it kind of saved our changes. If we w were to select this again, um, G key and then uh, Y axis, which I'm sorry, Z axis, then we can move up and down. Um, and if we decide we're down here, we don't really like what it's doing here, we can just hit the uh, right mouse button and it'll click us right back to where we were and we can, we can try again. Um, so those are the most basic uh, basic commands and shortcuts for Blender. All right, thanks for watching.